Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be sharing with you the things I've been enjoying for the week. If you are new to my channel, I guess I haven't really done an introduction type video to who I am and maybe I'll do a Q&A video, but welcome to my channel if you're new. I'm so glad to have you here. I hope you enjoy it and this is just a channel all about me. I do weekly favorites, things I've really been loving um, throughout the week, using makeup wise, beauty, skincare. Sometimes food, sometimes like um, beverage related, just kind of whatever I've been using and loving and I want to share with you guys. So the first thing that I'm going to start off with is a few things I've been eating and well not like daily eating but you know. Um, this right here. This is the No Pudge Fat Free Fudge Brownie Mix. This is so good. Uh, first of all, all you do is add yogurt to this. And I buy Greek yogurt, so you can buy fat-free yogurt, you can buy full-fat yogurt, whatever kind of yogurt you like, um, and you just add it to the mix, and that is it. And then you just bake it for 30 to 35 minutes. And I really like this. I mean, I love brownies, I love desserts, but if you're looking for, like, a less guilty, lower-calorie dessert, um, check out your local grocery stores for this box mix. You just add yogurt, throw it in the oven, and it tastes really good. I don't know about you, but I've made homemade brownies before, like a few times, and I just think box ones taste better. I don't know. These taste really good. Um, and I use just plain um, vanilla yogurt. You could use just like plain yogurt. I didn't have enough of that, so I threw in a little bit of strawberry. But if you do that, it like turns into strawberry brownies. <laughs> just even, it was just a little bit, but it really like took on the strawberry flavor, which was fine. Like you could do raspberry if you like like a chocolate raspberry or, but I love this. The kids loved it and it tasted good. So that was the first thing. Um, the second thing, I posted a picture on Instagram of this. And if you're not following me on Instagram, my name is just C. Gary. You should be. Um, I post pictures about my life, things I'm cooking, things I'm eating, what I'm doing, my kids, beauty related, Insta hauls, all just kind of random stuff. It's fun. It's like, I love Instagram. It's like you can snapshot your moment, your life at that point and share with other people. But anyways, I had Instagrammed these uh, Rice Works, what is it? Rice Works Gourmet Brown Rice Crisps and the flavor is sweet chili. Now, I don't know about you, but I love Doritos. They are not the healthiest option, so I found these. If you like um, the sweet and spicy chili Doritos, pick these up. These taste just like those, but a little less spicy and like a, a lot more flavorful. Like it doesn't have the, the corn chip background. It's gourmet, not gourmet, whatever they say that. <laughs> Brown rice crisps. Um, these are going to be a lot healthier for you, less calories, and it says it's wheat and gluten free, so if you do like a gluten free diet, this is going to be a good thing for you. No preservatives, it's vegan and celiac friendly, all natural. I really like these, and these come in all different flavors, but I picked these ones up and I love them. I've been eating them with um, homemade guacamole. You could also use them as like a nacho base with cheese and salsa and sour cream and whatever else you want to throw in them. But Oh my gosh, I love these. Like, I just got these a few days ago, and yeah, there's like six chips left in there. Um, but they're really good. My daughter likes them. My son, not so, well, he eats a few of them, but I, they're not spicy like they're going to burn your tongue. They're just, you know, they have a little bit of spices, on, you know, flavor to them. Okay, so now let's get into the makeup favorites. All right, the first thing I'm going to start with is a tool that um, I posted a haul video on Monday, and... I included in my haul these lash placement tweezers to put false lashes on. These are awesome. They make applying false lashes so simple. I've applied them several times already, so I've kind of gotten better at doing it. Um, but if you're new, these really help. First of all, they're nice and long. Prior to this, I just used tweezers. And I found that the sharp edge of the tweezers was kind of risky putting really close to your eyeball. And like the glue would get stuck to them and it just didn't hold the, you know, it didn't put the lashes on very well. But these have a nice longer little um, point here to them so you really can hold the lash and just drop it on your eyelid. And then what's nice about these is you, you put your lashes in between these two clamps here and 
you clamp the false lash and your lash together like that and they adhere really really well so I love these I picked these up at Ulta for around ten dollars or so these are amazing if you're struggling with false lashes or if you're a pro but you're looking for a new tool for putting on other people or something or for yourself I would try these I really have been enjoying those Okay, the next thing that I also featured in my haul is this Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in the shade Caramel. Now, I picked this up because now as we're getting into like warmer months where I'm outside a lot more, the sun is going to lighten up my hair, so I've been wanting to, to do my brows a little bit lighter. I haven't really played around with powder too much. So I'm, I usually just use like the Brow Wiz pencil, which I really like that because I can get precise control and like sculpt up my brows. But for filling in, I really like this stuff. Like you don't have to, you know, do 15 coats to get the color to show up on your hairs. And before I really got into doing makeup, I didn't even touch my eyebrows. Like I didn't see the point, but now I'm kind of obsessed with sculpting out my eyebrows. And I just um, used this really inexpensive, like, I don't know, angled brush that I got at Ulta for like $4. And I just use this and fill in the front with the lighter and then the darker of the two shades on my tail. And I've been really liking this. Um, I like to pair the pencil with the powder still because I like to get the sharp line and then I like to soften up the look with the powder. But this powder these powders in general are very high quality i would definitely recommend trying these out the next thing is something that i got this in a nyx order that i placed back in the fall i do have a haul video featuring some nyx products i got i think it was my um thinking thinking the black friday haul yes the black friday cyber monday haul video um i featured this tool that came in my order and I didn't know what I would do with it. But I just remembered that I had it. And I don't remember who I was watching. But I was watching one of uh, a celebrity makeup artist. And they were saying how they love these little puffs. And I'm like, really? Because I got it. And I'm like, I'm never going to use that. So they were, sh they were showing how they take pressed powder. Which this is my rediscovered pressed powder that I had forgot in my purse that I bought a long time ago. And what I've been doing is to set my makeup instead of using like a fluffy brush and like dusting it all over your face because I was finding that that really moved my concealer and my foundation all over the place after I just spent time perfecting and putting it where I wanted. Um, they suggested using a puff like this. You just slip your hands in it and then just pushing it into the product and I'm using the Revlon Nearly Naked Powder which is really finely milled and I really like this powder. It's great for in your purse too because it comes with a touch up puff and a mirror. Anyways, I've been patting that in there and then just patting that on like my areas that get oily throughout the day, like my forehead, down my nose, my chin, just a tiny little bit up on my cheekbones and I'm really liking this. Um, first of all, it sets your foundation and your concealer so it doesn't move. It gives you like a more matte appearance, but it's not smushing it all over the place. You know what I mean? Like after you put it on your foundation on, I mean, using the fluffy brush was just kind of like smearing everything around. So I've been really enjoying this. I'm probably going to go have to buy some more puffs to have on hand. Also, if you do makeup on other people, this is an absolute necessity, especially for touch-ups. Um, if you do like photography, um, doing touch-ups on people, just really pushing the product into their skin and not messing up all the work that you've already done. So. I've been really loving using pressed powder and a powder puff to set everything after I've done my foundation. Which, speaking of foundation, um, on my video on Wednesday I posted a products I want to use up video and this was one of the foundations that I had said I recently purchased but for whatever reason it's going to expire shortly. Um, I am in the shade Ivory. I am wearing this foundation today. It's the Tarte Maracuja Miracle Foundation. SPF 15 and it says it's a 12 hour foundation. Not sure about the 12 hour claim. Um, however, I really like this foundation. It gives you a very almost like dewy, not super dewy, natural to dewy finish. Um, as I wear it throughout the day, I do notice that I get a little bit more dewy, which is why I keep this sucker around to do like touch ups and stuff, keep it in your purse. Um, 
I really like this foundation though. I love the finish that it gives. It really is more of a full coverage foundation, foundation so um, it really helps cover up any blemishes, redness, um, freckles. I really, like if you're, you have like, se um, not sensitive, but um, if you have dry skin, you're going to love this. If you have normal skin, you're going to love this. If you have oily skin, you're probably not going to love this. Um, it's just going to probably make you more luminous than you're comfortable with. Um, but I really like it. I purchased this off a of Holt Look when it was on sale for like $21, which is definitely worth the price tag. It is, like I said, I'm in the shade Ivory. I really like it. It's tart, so it's free of all the parabens and sulfates and things like that. So it's more of like a natural route if you want to wear um, foundation. Love it. Now, speaking of the face, um, I was watching Trish from A Glittery Life. If you're not subscribed to her, you need to go over to A Glittery Life. And she also has a blog, which is aglitterylife.com. You need to go over there and subscribe to her because I really enjoy her. I love her personality and I love watching her. Anyway, she was talking about how she was having breakouts and uh, she picked up this tea tree oil by the body shop and you just put a couple drops on your finger and then you put it on your blemishes like at night time and in the morning they were magically disappeared. Um, mine didn't magically disappear but they were significantly like more dried up so I think what this really does is it just kind of helps dry up the blemish. I've been really liking it and I've noticed that my larger blemishes are drastically reduced by morning. It's kind of a definite, it kind of smells like an astringent actually. It's definitely kind of a medicinal smell but it is kind of like medicine. I mean it is going to clear up your blemishes so I don't care about the smell that much. Um, it doesn't bother me because if it's going to get rid of the ickiness then I'm going to use it. So this was like nine or ten dollars at Ulta as well that I featured on Instagram, not last week, but the week before, was this lipstick. And it is by Wet n Wild, and the shade is 905D Smokin' Hot Pink. Now, first off, let me just say, this is 99 cents. Yes, 99 cents, a whole whopping dollar. Now, I spend a dollar on a lot of things, but I would spend a lot more dollars on this than what it is. It, that's like one, one swipe. It's super creamy, incredibly opaque. Um, the color on is absolutely stunning. It's just one of those really pretty mid-tone pink shades that's gonna look flattering on a lot of people. Um, it really brightens up your lips, it brightens up your complexion, and it's a dollar, like a dollar. The packaging's kinda terrible, but what, what do you expect for a dollar? Cause like the lipstick gets kinda smushed on here and it doesn't roll down anymore, so it's really easy to nick the top, but I mean, this is a great lipstick. It's long lasting. They have quite a few colors to choose from and I own a few other shades but I've been really enjoying this shade in particular because it's just like a classic pink lip. You know, just one of those lipsticks that looks great and is totally worth the 99 cents. The next thing that's a favorite is solely because Okay, so I paint my nails and depending upon which type of formula of nail polish I use, it usually lasts me about 24 to 48 hours before I see chipping because my hands are in water all the time. And so what I've discovered, if you are being lazy like me and you don't want to change your nail polish out every two days because I just don't want to, I have discovered that throwing some sort of glittery top coat over the top drastically reduces the appearance of a chipping and prevents you from having to go and strip off all your nail polish and reapply, you know, four or five coats between the top coat, the base coat, the drying coat, the nail color and all that stuff. So today um, my nails were kind of chipped and I'm like, oh, I'm going to film. I don't want my nails to look really bad. So I took this OPI shade called Pink Yet Lavender and I just put that over the top of my nails and now they don't look half bad because prior to this, they looked bad. And so I like that one for like, you know, it, it, it pulls pink, but it pulls silver. So you, it's kind of one of those shades you can put over a lot of things. Probably not blue or green, but that's why I have this one by Orly, Orly Effects. It's called Shashé My Way, and it's a really pretty, it has gold, it has like long strips of glitter, but then it has like, um, hexagon shaped glitter pieces and it's just really pretty. This is 
you know, if you have silver glitter, that would work too, but I've been finding that just throwing some sort of glittery top coat gets rid of the chips and you don't pay attention to the chips and it just kind of lengthens your manicure if you don't want to spend time redoing them. So, love that. And my last favorite is my lip combo. I love this lipstick. It's gorgeous. I hauled this on my Monday video as well. And it's one of the new Maybelline nude shades in the shade Stormy Sahara, number 945. It is just a really great peachy nude. These are so creamy. I love the smell. They smell like Play-Doh to me. Oh, I just love it. It's just going to look great in the summer with bronze tan skin. It looks great on super fair skin. And I lined my lips with the Too Faced Perfect Lips Lip Liner in Perfect Nude. This on its own actually on my lips looks fabulous. You could just throw a gloss over it, but I decided to throw the lipstick over it. These are so, so creamy. You do have to be careful not to put too much pressure on your lips when you're lining them because the tip will break off. But that is the liner right there. These are really creamy. Not the longest lasting liners that I own, but I really like the consistency and how they feel on my lips. And then I wanted it to be a little less brown, a little bit more peach. So I took this Mally uh, lip, well, she calls them liquid lipsticks actually, in the shade Peach Sorbet. And you just twist these up and draw them on your lips. But that is the Peach Sorbet. Look at that shade. That is so stunning. Oh my gosh. I love peach. Like peach and coral. I'm so excited for summer and spring because those are like my favorite shades to wear is coral cheeks and peach lips and oh, I just can't wait. So I believe that is all for my favorites. Thank you guys so much for watching and for subscribing. I am so glad and happy to have you guys here. I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.